As of Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020, St. Lucia's recorded a total of 23 confirmed cases of COVID-19. 22 of those cases have fully recovered. To date, we only have one active case of COVID-19 in care. The Ministry of Health and Wellness continues its efforts to put measures in place to protect the health and safety of every individual within the country. We appeal to every business establishment on island to follow the necessary protocols established. That is the use of face masks and the physical distancing measures. The Environmental Health Division within the Ministry of Health will be working closely with the Royal St. Lucia Police Force to ensure the strengthening and reinforcement of the set protocols for all sectors. The public is also reminded that mass crowd events are still not permitted, so any activity with over 200 people will not be granted permission and that large numbers may pose a threat to public health due to COVID-19. The public is also reminded on the importance of quarantine as a measure to reduce COVID-19 transmission and are also adhere to the 14-day quarantine time and stay at home for the full period of time. The lists have been submitted to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force to assist with enforcement in the communities. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we alert the public that although most sectors have opened up, the risk of transmission is increased and therefore we need to remain vigilant. St. Lucians are encouraged to maintain the public health and social measures that have been put in place. The general public is also reminded to remain cautious and maintain behaviors that can reduce the risk of spread. We continue to advise on the importance of regular hand washing with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer where soap and water is not available. Also to cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissue when coughing and sneezing and to use the face mask in public along with maintaining your six feet physical distance. The Ministry of Health, we will continue providing further updates on COVID-19.